might sound too simple, but, but stay with me because there's a lot of nuance based in it. But I'm really big on you being you. Set your stall out. If you can focus on the things that you can control and the way you wanna control them, you're going to really help yourself play the game you wanna play. I need to add in a little caveat here at this moment because I definitely think you need to be adaptable and flexible and actually also feel the game out a little bit. But in regard to the majority of what I would suggest you to do, why don't you take up the reins and go, this is how I want to play the game. This is my overarching way that I want to go about my business. And these three tips for me transcend squash from the top to the bottom. Okay, obviously the players at the top can do it a lot better and quicker and they've got much more layers within it, but actually even low down, you get this right, it makes a massive difference. So it's gonna sound really simple-ish, you've probably heard this advice before, but let me run through those three bits and I'll unpack them as we go along in this, in this playlist. First thing, get the ball past your opponent as early in the rally as possible. Let me say that again, get the ball past your opponent as early in the rally as possible. That has to happen, think about that. Like so often I see players, trying that three or four shots in, but you've already lost the rally at that point. Returner serves in the middle and almost going, oh, I'm gonna feel my way into this rally and then get it past them. No, focus on getting the ball past your opponent as early in the rally as possible. Number two, linked really closely to that. When you've achieved that, ideally in the first shot, push up to the tee. The amount of times I see someone hit a good shot, move just straight across parallel to the back wall and admire their shot from this deep position, a boast comes in and you've lost the point. You've lost the point from someone's defensive boast. That's a crime in squash. <laughs> it should go to squash jail for that. So get the ball past your opponent as early as possible. Push up to the tee. You've got to do that. It's, it's an opportunity. And third and very simple one, take the ball in straight short when it's appropriate. You might not do it straight away, but so often I see people building up a decent rally, doing point one and two, and you know what? They're just playing a length game. The opponent can just sit back. And I'm using the word straight short. It's important, straight and short. So many people try to get the first ball into the front via a boast or a cross court drop or, or some really complicated thing. Set your stall out, hunt and have your radar open for that straight drop. I can't tell you enough how powerful that straight drop is. I not discovered it later, but as soon as I, I really honed in on that at one point in my career, it made a huge difference. So super simple advice but we're gonna go a little bit deeper with all of this, but I don't think you can do any harm with yourself. If you're watching the top pros, you're watching your mid-level club players, you're watching beginners. That advice does transcend everything. Get the ball past your opponent as early as possible. The wording's important there, as early as possible. First or second shot. Push up to the tee. You've, you, you've got to reward your shot. Upgrade it by pushing up to the tee. Thirdly, taking that straight drop when it's on. So that's my overarching game plan. There is subtleties, there is nuance, there is adaptability to the opponent you are playing. You might focus on some areas more than other areas based on the style. But for me to set my stall out and hopefully get you to understand where I'm taking you on this journey, that for me is what I want you to keep thinking about, those three key elements.